Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Equestria War. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now, we need to read about the temples and the state. The news out of blank has caused an uproar, and protests have broken out in several cities after the government instituted a wide-reaching law of separation of the temples and the state, the so-called Law of Lassite. Not only are the three temples no longer recognized as the main religion of the nation, its clergy has been banned from holding political positions of any kind as well. The government has stated that since religion in and always has been, a personal matter then has no business in the public sphere after all. Even the Empire didn't outlaw the worship of other gods as they recognized the need to let people choose who they worshipped. Protesters are calling it an attempt to undermine the Griffonian traditions and culture, but a government spokesperson has pointed to the fact that in the other end, the government has surrendered an any chance to interfere with people's beliefs. Unless the argument is made that these Griff Griffonian traditions involve coercing Griffs to worship the three, then these traditions remain as sacred as before. Going ahead, ambitious young Griffs will be choosing between joining the temples or joining politics, for one will exclude the other. Politics will be defined by sound and rational policy instead of ancient scripture, and the spiritual guides of Griffin kind will not be tempted to delve into politics with all that entails. Never another Eros. To get more political power, we lose supremacy and stability, which is fine, you know. So, okay, but we get some more st uh, political power, which is... Okay, but we're pretty much ready to go to war with these guys, and we'll see what happens when we go to war with them. Because we need to make, still, an even larger army to contend with the soldiers of Prywin. Also, we are at war with Rumer, which... Looking not too bad right now. Looking not too bad. Let's go ahead and get rid of these guys, so we can bait them into attacking us a little bit more as well, with two knight divisions there. Which would be very good. And Prywin wants to help us out. Ah, very good. We've lost 3,000. We've killed off 56,000. Nice. All right, my friends. We could still do this one. War goal against Griffonian Republic. Um, that should honestly be auto bypass. But let's see. Pla limited planning. The Mittels Mittelstan model. Uh, the communications. Preserve local cultural institutions. I kind of like that one. Power sovereign republics. Well, we have enough people to go to war with right now, currently. So let's wait a little bit. I want to do Griffonian federalism. I think we should wait. The Yale model. Uh, monthly population, art, cultural and artistic subsidies. Okay. The Supreme Court of Griffonia. I kind of like that one. Above all else, there will be disputes in the New Republic. State after state squabbling over their creations or their territory or whatever. And with no better than a federal system to sort out those disputes, a Supreme Court will be perfect. Besides, you can also do other normal appeals, which is very, very good. I'm losing a little bit of fuel. That's fine. And the barony has capitulated. Alright, so these guys. I was looking over here. And they're communists, of course. They have a little bit of manpower. Prywin has a little bit of manpower. They are in service by requirement. Are they currently at war with anybody? No, they're not. So, actually, how many divisions do they have? They have quite a few, and these guys have quite a few. So, we really need to have a bigger army before we even try to contend with them. So, at this point, I wonder if we can just go ahead and deal with these guys appropriately, like bing, bong, boom, bomb. So, this way they come over here, and we can probably hopefully beat them up. There you go. Can you guys just go all in, then? Actually, just do that first. There we go. You should be able to, and they should be weak enough to the point that we could probably just get over there into the little aisles. So, come on, guys. Assist advanced competing machines, nice. It is 10:30, my friends. Let's grab some decryption power. That'll be very, very good. We attack them. Okay, not bad. And we attack them hard enough, long enough, then they won't be able to react, or you know, they won't get any more organization either. So that's good. Uh, we might grab that too. We'll see what happens. Rumer. Let's see what happens if we keep pushing the attack. Oh, Soviet Socialist Republic became... Oh, dogs, Bukharin. Oh, wow. That is kind of weird, but okay, not bad. And preserve local cultural institutions? Yes. Grafonia is a patchwork of unique and beautiful cultures that don't fit into any regional superculture. If we are to preserve these gems, we need to ensure legal protection for the languages and customs so that we may keep their flame alive. Hopefully this will work. Ah, uh, this might not work very well, but we'll see what happens. Especially since they should be losing a ton of organization. What would we force it? So this way, your organization is a drop, and their organization continue to dis do so. And we apparently do have air superiority too, which is nice. I did set up a lot of the planes off screen as well, so. Keep going, keep going. <clears throat> Destroy that division. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Come on. They're almost gone, they're almost gone. We have so much pee-pee. And after this, we might just go ahead and give people, uh, or reduce presidential powers. Executive powers. Drill under, sure, why not? Anything else? Not too much, not too much. Better radar is nice. Let's grab some more cryptology as well. 
We could probably use more roads, which is very good, but how about some uh, of this stuff? That would be very good as well. And then, uh, Sovereign Republic, eh, li limited economic planning. Though the market can do, can do a lot for itself, there are some things that it cannot do. Namely, to look to the future. To the next 20 or 30 years, the state must enter the fray and ensure that everything remains on the right track in the right places, of course. And almost there, we've almost gotten them. God dang it. If they can't move, all they can do is die. Uh, better engineers for now. Decryption is nice. Better, some better radar. Very nice. And how about this stuff? Yes. Better artillery is very good. Good. They're already weak. Already quite, quite weak. You guys, go ahead and yourselves. Just go ahead and assume the line. I don't know. These guys, maybe? And train. Because the next couple divisions we're going to make will be headed over to here. Actually, just pop them out immediately. Oh, oh I've got Barony Brumaire. Very nice. That's just because we're going to make a new uh, whole different army group. Uh, let's see. Yeah, not too bad. And then... Uh, Gabriel Duval, yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. At least to help hold the line first. So these guys did great. Really great. Reinhard Suntel did a good job. Water Towns. I guess we could probably go to war with some of these guys, like, because they're so independently, well, alone. So. Farbrook. Both these people want to kill each other off. Three to five. That's not bad. Yeah, we probably go to war with these guys first. Three to five is no match for these guys, so. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Go right when you can. And we'll grab Ingrid Hardbeak. Very good. And next, nationalize the army budget. Why not? The war is over and there's no longer a big existential threat to the Republic. Until they look at the South. Citizens in the streets will both celebrate, but now worry about where the next meal or job will come from. To start with, to gain the funds for that, we must slash the army budget. Not bad. The free city of New Taimiao. Huh. Restore order. Yes, we do. Federated should par parishes down here, huh? That's good. Oh. That's good as well. Two more tank divisions are welcome here. And Velvet Bubblegum? Why not? Why not? Wow, we have five. Oh, yes. We're not even Spy Master. Huh. Nice. Improved artillery is very good. Let's grab some anti air. And anything else here? Yes. Technically, yes. Limited exports might not be bad. Yeah, I think we'll go with limited exports from here on out. Just because it's not looking too good. And there you go. Not bad. Alright, normalize the army budget, follow up with what? Radar? Let's go with the Mittelsland model. There are two good ways for private companies. Big, all-encompassing conglomerates or small companies. And the former could grow to challenge the state in its own right. Therefore, it's far preferred to have the small companies. Each and every one making their own various strides, something to be encouraged, certainly. Good. And better radar after that too. Which would be nice. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> artillery, I love artillery, just we have to do that one. Um, offense, 50% of our attack is not bad. 5% of our defense is okay, but you can only get use him if you don't take the other person as, or other one as well. Let's grab some more nice soft attack. That'd be good. And maybe get some more tank stuff too. Form of departments. Nice. And what is next? Engineers are done. Awesome. Let's grab some more tanks in. Very good. Now we're in the next focus after we do this, and then this, and then that. The Pan Grafonian Telecommunications Company. Communications across Grafonia was easy in Imperial times. Imperial runners would transmit messages and local telegraphs would service urban areas. However, we are in a new age of invention, and with the tools of modern technology at our fingertips, there exists a new vision for communication. The possibility of allowing all the Griffins under the tricolor to communicate with one another at a moment's notice. And there's more text down here, but I'm not really sure what it says. Something about Grafonian, so... Oh well. And we have to go with natural recovery rate, which is totally fine with me. Backhand blow, and then we'll finish our land auction with Modern Blitzkrieg. Tanks get more breakthrough, organization, a day in the life, though. Ooh. Actually, let's go do that one, too. Thank you. And technology. Good. Ludwig looked up from the paperwork in his hands, stamped with a new Republican government seal, signaling his ownership of the building in front of him. It was a small factory in the countryside outside of Box Gens. Not much compared to the old Imperial conglomerates that used to control the industry in the area, but he was proud of it nonetheless. Looking around, he saw the diamond dogs which surrounded him. 
They were still taking the whole situation a bit worse than he was, but there were some smiles and some cheers from them too. While his family had lived among the Diamond Dogs for generations, they were fierce Imperial loyalists, so nothing could compare to the fervor these dogs had for the Emperor. The idea of a living under a republic was so foreign to them, it was hard to forget the Emperor. But now he was out of power, and all the citizens of Bronze Hill had to make do with this new order. And for Ludwig, that meant taking advantage of the situation he was in. His father, Ahad, was a frugal griffin, and after the Republicans took over, he showed his son a secret savings stash he kept in the house. So when the government announced their new middle stand program, his family decided to go all in with what they could. Erhard was an engineer, a tinkerer, and saw a great chance to make money designing and selling machine parts. So while his father was down in Ravensburg, Ludwig was up here at the factory hiring new workers and getting things set up for production, despite everything that had happened. The war that had racked his homeland, the shame of his comrades, there was still hope in Bronzo. The hope that the future may be, yet be brighter. It was a slim hope, yes, but the factory in front of him and the dogs around him, looking upon their new place of work with pride, gave him just enough hope to believe that this might be the opening of a new and better chapter in his life. The days can only get brighter. Very nice. The new Republican Jadami. While the armies have done the hard work of carrying the Republic to victory, now comes the dirty work of mopping up the tyrants left behind. But we're not the kings of Aquilia or the nobles of Griffenheim. We do not intend to slaughter our, dis our dissidents with no care for their lives. So a new Jadami will be established under our new principles of where all the officers shall be trained to do their job safely and with probably with honor. Nice. Even better artillery, yes. The bestest artillery. Actually, we move fast enough. We actually might be able to kill them off. Enough. Let's at least get one more army here first, though. And by one more army, I mean just like, just deploy them early. There you go. There you go. Go ahead and train. Oh, no. It's you guys. I want you to go over there. There you go. Common recruits. Very nice. Max factories in a state are very good as well. Do we need any more factories, realistically? We're looking very good on pretty much everything, actually. So, no, not really. We could use quite a few more dockyards. So, we'll do that. There you go. Loads and loads of dockyards. Portable radios are very good as well. Thank you. We can become a spy master too if we really want to. And, good, good, good. Region white and that stuff. That's fine. And do we finish this off? No, we need magical tanks. But we need 125 army XP. Better radar is very good. And grab the bestest radar. Or better radar. Nice. Uh, New Republican Jetame. Very good. Let us go on in. It shouldn't be too bad for this one, right? Oh, oh, we're fighting the River Republic too. Oh crap. Oh well. And they joined the River Coalition. God dang it. I was hoping that would not have happened, but whatever. I don't really care too much. Deponia, urban modernization complete, or committee. Several cities lie unchanged from the 800s. Slums are rampant, and the conditions of the housing of some of the people is truly despicable. We need to modernize and revitalize a city so they can be made examples of what republicanism can do for its people, rather than monarchism or oligarchy. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Midnight Dew, sign me up. And what do we have over here? Deponia. Alright. Cool. I'm going to kind of wait for them to attack us. That's fine with me. Um, I guess we'll have to wait then to go to war these guys. There's still a lot of divisions over here. I don't know if we'd be able to smash wing body fast enough. We really need more spies down here. Which is good we got more spies, so. Let's take a look. I'm going to keep at least one of these spies home here, so. Uh, you guys did a really good job so far. You might want to continue this, though. Goldmire, not bad. Anything else here? Chief of the Air Force, maybe? <clears throat> mm, that's not bad. Air experience gain, air superiority. Uh, let's do that one. That's fine. And this one. The committee. Follow up with utilize the Yale model. Yale is, has run one the same academic model for decades. Students are guaranteed by a secondary education and only need to pass an acceptance exam to enter one of its prestigious universities free of charge. For the good of the Republic's future innovators, we will carry on and spread this policy. Not bad. <coughs> oh, my apologies. Oh. Alright, let's see what we can do. Maybe get into their lands, perhaps? Maybe? Maybe not? Actually, it'd be easier to get up here first. Something like that. Mm, this coffee guy's not too bad. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Nice. Let's see. Actually, our tanks are... 40 combo, that's good. That's very good, actually. 
Uh, marriage companies. Eh, that kind of hurts our armor. It doesn't really help us out that much, so we're not going to put them on here. Well, we can do anti-air, but we could probably not need to do that one. Let's see. Smoocher? Yes. Do you smooch? Nice. How strong are their divisions? Uh, they're not that strong. Actually, we might actually be able to push in here very quickly. Let's get at least one more army here first. Before I do any sort of thing here. Because I want to make sure we can at least somewhat defend the border. So, let's do that then. There you go. And you guys train a whole bunch. Because you're not looking very strong yet. Not yet. But you will eventually. Alright, so the soldiers are here on the line. Can we all come in there and then do that, 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 that? Maybe. Actually, probably yes. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, well, whatever. Good luck, guys. Oh, more of this. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, better destroyers. Um, I guess we could use these guys. Why not? Light batteries. Go dual purpose for this one, and then you go to there, and then you go to there, and then you go to there, and then boom, boom, boom. Not bad. And you are gone. You must have a lot of destroyers in reserve right now. Wowzers. Alright, this is not too bad. I do want to make, make sure we get that one. Get some radar on these bad boys. Level 2, now dual purpose is better. Cannons, three, and then... Um, it's just go a little slower, but I don't really care. That's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. Goodbye and hello. Two, three, four. What are the ships like right now? Not bad. That's another task force. Not doing much, but that's alright. There you go. Not bad. Better radar? Oh. Well, I can't just throw that on there. Eh, level three is already very, very good, so... Not too worried about that. Get some nukes. Griffin architecture. Let's grab some of this one next. More description is very good. And they've been encircled. Very good. You both just go on in. You might just be able to, actually. Nice. Any partisan stuff? Interrogations? The new old Wingberg. But let's go ahead and grab the Yale, Yale model. What the noodle? Reimer looked around himself in confusion and scratched the back of his head. There wasn't what he remembered old Wingberg was like. What was it with all the cranes everywhere and that the house was being built five stories tall? How would that hold up? Wandering along the streets with his cart. He suddenly had to move to the side as the blaring sound of a car horn from behind him almost deafened him. As a metal wagon rolled past him with a roar, he coughed at the stench that followed it. Get off the road, heck, a passerby called from the sidewalk to him. Use the side lanes, that's why they're there. I've walked this bloody road for two decades, Reimer snapped back as he turned to face him. That's never been an issue to now, and I'm not going to stop just because... Then a truck came roaring down the street, crashing into his cart and strewing his produce all over the road. Reimer, in shock, looked back to see the yoke hanging uselessly from his back as his goods were flying all over the road. Mock cabbages. <laughs> oh man, really? Really? Cool. I like that. Holy air, are you okay? The laborer took his foreleg and dragged him off the street, Reimer not answering at first when he saw half a year's work uh, strewn all over the street. That's a crime right there. Let's go to the police station. Well, where is the police station even these days? Reimer asked when he had recovered and pointed it at the corner. Isn't it supposed to be over there? Nah, I moved over a year ago. Don't worry, about it, though. The tram's run just by here. Do you have money for the ride? What's a tram? Reimer asked. A few minutes later, he found out. As it apparently was a rail cart traveling on its own along the roads, rattling and shaking like it was about to fall apart, and he clutched the pole he stood by in near panic. What have they done to the city? <laughs> it's funny. Cool. And embrace the ponies of Griffonia. Though the Republic was founded upon the shoulders of Griffins, many ponies live on the continent, many of whom have stood behind the Republic from day one. Do they not deserve to enjoy all the benefits of our new Republic? Would it not be truly would it not be terrible to betray to exclude them? It would be terrible if we did that. Keep going, we're doing a good job already. And we've cut off a lot of them. You don't mess with the uh, the Republic. You don't mess with the Republics. And we're gonna hit our enemies even harder. Which is what we love. We love it. Nice. If you want to maybe get over there fast enough. I think that would be very good. So you can cut all these, these guys. Maybe. Go, 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 go. And are we, what are we not getting? Rubber? Oh, pry when. Is this grounds for a declaration of war? We definitely need more rubber. Wow. 
Yep, they're gone. Nice. And we took a look and killed them. Let's see what we can do with these folks. These fine, fine folks. And we'll go to war with the other groups down south once we, you know, can. Once this war's over, of course. <clears throat> Chief of the Navy. Um, oh, that one, of course. Modern Bliss Creek is good and done. We're using, what? Bombers, I think, right? Fighters. Tactical bombers. Nice. Let's go on ahead. It looks like there's no one there. Oh, look at that. Oh, there are 47 divisions. A miracle? Let's go ahead and do this one. Returning to the university should have been a joyous occasion for Ulrich. After the fighting, he had survived, and while he didn't know if the nightmares would ever stop, the idea of going back to his studies had been a guiding light for him through all of it. Alas, life had one final boot to throw at him as he stood with his classmates at the reception desk talking to the receptionist. He felt his blood run cold at what she told him. There must be some kind of mistake here, he fumbled. He fumbled through his jacket after his now by his now tattered letter. The money is supposed to be sent to Yale. I've got this letter here promising it. As she took the letter, his roommate leaned in as well. Yeah, you can't boot Ulrich out. He's the smartest one in the class for Boreas' sake. I would have pa he began before his beak was clenched shut by the others so he wouldn't be incriminating himself. Ulrich, meanwhile, was having a crisis. If his grant had been, had been revoked, there was no way he could pay the tuition. He was from a poor family. The grant was his only chance. Haven't you heard the receptionist ask? It hasn't been paid because they abolished the tuition fees. You're not going to expect it. You're not expected to pay it any longer. Ulrich blinked at her repeatedly, and she rummaged through the papers behind her desk, showing him a document. Grabbing it, he read through it with his heart uh, stuck in his throat, and true enough, the second paragraph said, with underlined text, that all tuition fees were abolished effective immediately. He and his friends all looked at each other for a few seconds before a thunderous cheer rose from them all. <clears throat> Without the need to pay tuition, Ulrich didn't have the same demands regarding con conduct on him to keep the grant, and he didn't have that. And if he didn't have that, to the bar. <laughs> all right, nice. And then, let's do cultural and artistic subsidies. There are values other than economic such. And as such, and when we invest in the future, we cannot forget the culture that gives joy and purpose to millions of souls. The entertainment, the deep questions of life, the escapist souls, and the challenges to our preconceptions are more than just luxuries. They are hallmarks of civilization. Nice. Yeah, more tanks. We love tanks. And this should be the last group that we need to take out for this one, so... And then we get to go to war. The fall of original god? Nice. A short little detour. <coughs> it's always good for us. Alright, so now we have more divisions that we can throw here and have a good time. At least to hold a line. Even though at this point they probably have more divisions anyways, but well, ever. Now we have more... Oh god, we have more places to guard now. <coughs> Oh, my apologies. Let's grab some more heavy ships. That'd be good. I love the heavy ships. Loads and loads and loads of heavy ships, please. Uh, there's only two in there, so... Agent captured. Oh, no, we must mount a rescue operation. It's a good thing we've got a lot of ponies. Or a lot of griffins. Cool. Alright, so you all go and do this. We can know where their divisions are at. And you also do that. Because we've already got a lot of info on these guys. Let's go ahead and get ready to go. Wing body, yes please, thank you. Cultural and artistic things. Are you kidding me? That one was also captured. Improved anti-air is nice, but still. There you go. Get some better anti-air. And press the ponies of And, yes. And then we will abolish the death penalty, it seems like. Cool. And then, ooh. Uh, we're using nice, but we're using tanks a little bit more, so let's go with messenger enchantment first. And grab that one next as well. Good. Nice. Heavy ships looking good. And let's go over here, actually. No, no, no. We want to go over here. And do magical tanks. So how does that work? Do we have a new thing here? Uh, experimental magical tanks. What is that? 126 armor? What? What? Speed is 8. These guys' speed are 9. Woo! Well, we'll make some. How about that? We'll make some. Let's put one thing of millies on them. That'd be fine. Let's keep going. Force rotation is nice. Help out our air force a little bit more. Uh, let's get some radar bu building here, too, because we'll definitely probably need that. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, you guys probably stopped training as well. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, they definitely got a lot of divisions. Alright, so we went to war with them, and now they went to war with us. 
We should do relatively okay against these guys. So we're just crushing them right now. Let's take a look. Oh, it's glitch. Ah, I hate that. Ah, why is it Hoi 4 glitch? It's not the death spot at all. It's just Hoi 4 in general. They have a little bit of manpower. These guys uh, have n still no manpower. So any damage you do, they die. Which is good. These guys are going to be a pain in the butt to take out, though, probably. It says you guys could win, too. I mean, you could try it, but it's not going to do that well for us. But if we push and just push, 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 push all over here... Yeah, that's really bad, actually. You guys hold. Let the tanks do what they need to. Oh. Oh. Uh, are they over here, too? Oh, maybe we should stop doing that, then. Repair, and then do that. But Oh, they actually literally navally invaded us. Wow, that sucks. Alright, well, I'm glad we got these guys here, then. There you go. Thank you. And there you go. Uh, there you go. Eagle Heart. The Flower of Rudendale. Well, these guys will die fast enough. I wish we could see how many casualties we killed off. Or how many people we killed off. But abolish the death penalty. There was, above all, one punishment that had been loathed during the ancient regime. Death. It was the most cruel and awful scourge that could be imposed on any one creature. It does not become... It does not become a civilized Republican nation to keep it as a legitimate form of punishment. The follower of Rue Hirondale. Most griffs in the neighborhood had never been, had never had a bad word to say about Seraphine. It was true that she was a bit flighty and that her obsession with painting had stopped her from holding down a proper job, but they had long since accepted her for what she was. During the years of war that had been, it has been Seraphine who kept their spirits up. She'd paint the streets and houses in vivid colors and wondrous patterns, and whenever soldiers came back on home on leave, she made sure to paint their portraits with their families. As the world turned gray and horrible, their paint stench bird had kept their spirits up however she could, even as herself had been destitute. It had only take, been recently that her state had been discovered, and the neighborhood had rallied to help her out. Griffs took turn to have her over for dinner. A neighborhood collection had been arranged, and old Maurice especially had written a long, nice letter to the president himself, publishing it in the local newspaper and asking there were truly nothing that could be done for the Republic's artists. Yet none of them had quite expected what came next. About a week later, Maurice came barreling into the neighborhood cafe, waving a newspaper over his head and cackling. He listened. He listened. Before published pushing the newspaper into Seraphine's claws. Reading it at the open page, she gasped as she saw the statement from the President of Verani himself on the need for the Republic to care for and nurture its artists and creators. According to it, the Republic was launching a series of programs to this end, and the President even cited Seraphine of Rue Hirondale as an example of the kind of artists they needed to ensure she could live a worthy life. As she read it out loud, and she felt how her eyes welled up, and in the end she had to stop as tears of joy began to fall. Praise the President! Alright, so just make sure we're going to do well here. We're going to go on Carthen all the way down here. Because once... Wing Barty is completely dead, then these guys will fall pretty easily too. Oh, we are getting encircled and destroyed here. That is not ideal. Eh. Keep forcing, I guess. Why not? Why not? Go on in. We need to start doing some more damage here. And this is not good either, but you guys could probably do well, especially since we're raiding them, which is nice. And abolish the death penalty. Scale back the presidential executive. The job has been done, the empire lies vanquished before us, and the Republican dream is well and truly alive. All this, however, would be for naught. If the president evolved into the king instead, we must scale back the presidential powers, unless they end up what we fought. There we go, nice. Now they're dead. Falkorian Workers Union is dead as well, which is good. Now we can do this. And, uh, oh. No, those guys are fine. We gotta come over here now. And we might have lost a few divisions here and there. It is what it is, you know, it is what it is. Keep moving, though. Keep moving. We're sinking some convoys. Good, good, good. Throw you right there. Head on in. Do the best job you can. Advanced anti-air is good. Wittenland is gone. Goodbye. And we'll grab some artillery. Nice. Upgrade what you already have. We need to get some better planes, then. Oh, boy. It, again? Agent captured again? My goodness. Alright, let's... Oh, we can't really rescue them yet. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Cryptology? Well, still going on. Still going on. Oh, uh, yeah. We're losing quite a few divisions here. Not very good for me. It is what it is, though. There you go. And... Wow, we are making a lot of bombers. A quick pardon. There you go. You can make that down there, too. 
Hans, uh, Captain Stonyface, as he es was escorted down the hallway towards a waiting guillotine. So, this was it then. No more robberies, no more gunfights, it was all coming to an end here. He had heard the verdict just fine all those months ago, but it wasn't real, not until he stood here. He was afraid, terrified even, but he wasn't going to let the cops see it. As they reached the door, he saw a priest waiting for him. At first, he wanted to tell the old bird to piss off. What had the three ever done for him anyway? He just opened his mouth when he felt as though he didn't have the strength to. He had lived as a dude and would die as one, but then what? Screw it. If he, all he had to hope for was divine mercy, he might as well try it. Bowing his head, he followed the priest in prayer for the first time in his life. I let him touch his head and his shoulders to ask for the three's mercy. Stepping into the room, he saw the guillotine and of, felt a sudden wave of terror. What mercy was this? If the three were so great, then why was this going to be his fate? The black sack was put over his head and he was let down to die on it, being tied in place. Closing his eyes, he began to count slowly, waiting for the sound of sliding steel, but it never came. Instead, he heard the door slam open and muted talking further away. Then the restraints were removed and he was pulled up to stand as the sack was removed. Death penalty was abolished ten minutes ago. <laughs> of course. One of the guards informed him, imagine if he hadn't taken the chance to pray. Hans couldn't say anything, instead just sinking to the floor as his legs gave away. He stared up at the small window high above and it all made sense to him. The epiphany was almost overwhelming and he found himself slowly laughing. He vaguely heard them tell that he was still going to spend his life in prison, but he didn't even care. The three had truly given him their mercy and he would not waste it. Maybe he should be praising the president instead. And... Scale back the powers. Because now we're going to smash the living crap out of these guys. I want you to go in fast and furiously. Even though the supplies are really, really bad down here. Holy crap, they're really bad. That's why we can't rescue our tanks. Which, I've lost most of the tanks. My bad. I should have been more careful with them. But at this point, it really doesn't matter to me. So, whoever we have left, head on out. Lucian, Lucian peasants are gone. That's good. Oh, we have to fight these guys too. I didn't realize it was these guys. I was just probably one, but whatever. They should be complete, completely like out of the yeah, manpowers, which is good. And the divisions are way, way, way less than what they used to be. And then propose the Prospero Concordat. The Minotaurs have a strong democratic tradition and the value of the same liberties that we have fought to obtain for all Griffins. Therefore, they are our natural allies in the fight against tyranny and will be valued partners if they wish to join us. Sovereign Republic of Asturian, huh? All right. Not bad. Casa. Barbara. We could still probably kill these guys off pretty quickly, too, if we really wanted to. The 60's not bad. Oh, we're punching deep. Setting the record straight. <clears throat> It was probably unbecoming of the great hero of the revolution to be quite as petty as this, but Theodore Verani had always been the kind of griff who, if you told him he could not do something, he would turn over heaven and earth to do it. He had done it as a child when he climbed under the roof, and he had done it during the revolution when fighting for democracy, and he did it now, of course. He had the principles that he stood by, he would not be where he was without them, but there was still this almost visceral throne being proven right in the end for him, and he doubted that would ever change. As he put his signature on the document, the cameras flashed all around his desk, and he held it up for them to see that he had done indeed what he had promised he, that he would. Signed away the absolute majority of his executive powers in perpetuity. When he sees them, he had spoken of the need for decisive leadership in the moments of crisis, but others had called it tyrannical and said that he dreamed of himself as a new dictator. The smile that crossed his face was genuine, as he imagined the look on their faces right now. He had sworn it for the sake of the Republic, and now that they had prevailed, he let it all go. It was for the good of every griff, and whatever he did with his powers, he had no reason to believe that others would be as measured. Even when disregarding that, these kinds of executive powers would have drained this assembly's other purpose and shifted pol politics towards authoritarianism. All this was true, and they were the reason why he had to do it. But his pettiness was the reason why he enjoyed it so thoroughly. I am no tyrant. Hmm. March upon Sycamium? We could do that. We could. So, assembly? Where'd the assembly go? Shh, we're not bringing it back. Huh. So, who do we have to capitulate here? Because this is a lot of guys. Don't get me wrong. This is. Oh, Wing Party's back here. Oh. Keep going in, everyone. Keep going in. Ponies of the Lake are gone. Very nice. Hmm. Ponies of the Lake. That sounds, kind of sounds like one of the churches that I. I'm around often. Go and do that one, that's fine. Uh, let's grab some of that as well. And then let's grab some of this, too. Nice. Just keep on going, we're doing a good job. Even though I might have killed off some of our own divisions by accident. It is, it is, it is what it is. Actually, we can just push ourselves over here, that'd be really good. But it just takes time to kill these guys off. Alright, blueprint stealing is nice. And then what's next? And then Griffonian Federalism. The Griffin, no, Griffonian nations are many, and they're very different. Very, very different. So different that it's too unwieldy to try and think that we can unite them all under one government. We need to devolve a large degree of power to the local assemblies and leaders so they can take better care. 
Excuse me. So they can take better care of themselves, which would be good. Alright, so you guys are doing okay. Mm, you can do that one if you really want to. The commune is gone. So, who's left? Because we just kill these guys off again, pretty much. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, we can't do that one yet. So, instead, maybe we'll do one up here. Metropolitan Development Commission. Nice. It's only 30 days, too, so that's pretty good. If we wanted to, how many... Because I, I don't want bad supply issues. So, you guys, come down here. And get ready to go. And then we'll use our shippies and move them from here to go right. Boom, boom, boom. Something like that, maybe. Because you guys, I'll finish them off here. Keep going, 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 going. Yeah, I should not have killed off all my tanks like that. I should have been a little more careful with that, but that's my fault completely, so. There you go. Go right on ahead. Fighting spirits is not bad. And we'll get some more organization for the night, so we probably don't have that many left. Of. Oh, we got them. Nice. Not bad. Alright, and I guess march upon them. Uh, there's no other, no other waterway, it looks like, around here, maybe. Taking these guys out is going to be a little bit of pain in the butt, but eh, it'll be alright. What? No, game. Please. Please, please. Thank you. Alright, not bad. Um, how many divisions do these guys actually have? That's a lot of manpower. Up to 64 divisions is not bad. Anything else is down there? No? Alright. Return order. So we need to take out other people too, so that's fine. So if that's the okay, case, so we're going to come back up here and take out these guys. Because we already have begun getting ready to do that. Nice. There you go. And let's do that. At this point, technology doesn't really matter too much. It still matters, of course, but... Oh, I don't even have Mac 40s. Wow. That is not ideal. Get some better destroyers. That's good, good, good. Uh, do we have enough roads? Do we have enough, uh, you know, radar down here? Do we have enough air bases? No, we do not. Oh my goodness. We're doing relatively okay around here as well. Um, if you guys want to hold first, and then take out these guys too. Oh boy, there goes the navy too. Now they're attacking us, which is not bad. Oh boy. I don't know how big their navy actually is. Let's take a look. So up to 64. Uh, no, they only have a few ca heavy cruisers. That's it. So our battleships will be able to smash them probably. So that'll be good. Nuclear reactors are nice. We can grab that one too. It doesn't really matter to me. We should do relatively okay around here. So how many more griffins do we can take out? Everyone else probably? Oh, they're still fighting the other group too. Oh, that sucks. Well, they took a while, so it's their fault for taking too long. Fire killer groups. And got some of that too. Destroyer stuff, we love destroyers here. Nice. Shipyards are good. Oh, we actually lost a few ships. That's not good. <clears throat> More tanks, because let's we'll just throw them into the fray, probably. We can't do that one yet. Actually, let's do this one too. Even though it should auto bypass, but whatever. Maybe it'll be that'll happen in an update later on. Nice. Let's grab some of that too. Bolt action rifles. Not bad, not bad. So when can we go to, can we go to war with these guys next, maybe? No. Uh, 160 days is quite a long time, not gonna lie, that's quite a long time. Suicide pills, let's go ahead and grab offense. I want I want more attack. Oh! Alright, they're gone. Not bad. I don't know why, the color reminds me of Greece quite a bit here. So we can't take this one yet, probably, right? No, we cannot. Every Griffin country needs to die, basically. Alright, then. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Um, there you go. Something like that, maybe. Let time go on so we can get some more justifications done. That'll be good. And what else? There we go. And let's get ready to go to war with these guys, too. Oh, we, oh, we do have a... We should have a war goal against them, right? Oh, we can't go to war with them because we have probably divisions in the country, so we'll do that one first. There we go. 
communists go bye bye we should do relatively okay up here as well especially since they can't cover the entire front line probably so yeah not bad infantry anti-tank let's grab some of this too all right so now can we go to war maybe supplies are quite bad down here We'll let them come in, and they'll, we'll let them soldiers come in, and we'll, then we'll kill them off some more. Nice. All right, so we can get rid of that one. I'll put you guys here. Oh, look. Destroyers, all right. We'll put you right there, then. Not bad. Oh, we're finding their navy, too. And we're blowing it up. I love it. What's not to love about it? Early destroyers. Good, good, good. Those guys have died, which makes sense. Flesh them all out. And then you go to here. Let time go on, because we're doing well enough. Nice. There you go. And more heavy ships. So we can do that one yet, which is fine. And we'll do this one. Development schemes? Not bad. <clears throat> Alright, so you guys. You come here. And do that. You come here and do that. You should be able to actually be able to just push in like that completely, so... Oh, wow, look at those convoys. Nice. God, I wish we could see what's going on here. Tanks. Uh, oh, we gonna do that. Uh, actually, instead, do something like this, maybe? Concentrate yourselves up here? That'd be good. How are we pushing? Are we doing well? Our book is the done. Not bad. How about down there? Uh, you might as well use that now. KS is not bad. They're quite large, quite thick. And we love them thick, so. <clears throat> Light tanks. Machine tool modernization. Might as well, right? Cool. And these guys should die fairly soon. I'll go over here. <clears throat> Convoy sailing is good. Let's grab some of this. Disperse fighting. And boom. Not bad. And there goes Firebrook. I don't think that's enough, though. Which kind of sucks. But, man, taking out every single state, that takes that takes a lot of time. That really does take a lot of time out. We do have a war justification, which is not bad. But, let's see if we can finish these guys off first. Thanks? Why not? Uh, I hate... You know, I, I really don't like this nation. Because you have to invade these different people. That's so sucky. But, I will finish this off the screen. Alright, my friends, so we've gone ahead and finished and annexed these guys down here, which is very, very good. But now we're at war with these guys up here. At this point, we're going to take out everyone here pretty much on the continent, probably except for the Dread Order. Just because, I'm not sure who they are, what they do, and I don't think we actually can go to war with them. Oh, the Dread League. Dread Order, Dread League. Yeah, we can't even go just find them. So, they are detached, and we're going to take out the Eastern Dogs Republic. Followed up by the Republic of Kassa? Kassa? Zebra Dude? Lua Ramadi? Could take some time, but that's quite alright with us. And we got some better support weapons. Let's grab some more land out attack. And, oh my goodness, please, game. Why do you do this to us? Why are we glitching up there? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, head over there, yeah, and circle those guys and just cut them off. That'd be very nice. We made quite a big army, I'd say, this campaign. Quite a massive army, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, what is that? Ooh. Oh, and they're gone! That was pretty darn quick. And currently, we are doing the... Ooh. Ooh. The one focus... That allows us to core everything once we have a certain level of compliance as well. Thank you. Eastern Dogs Republic, and thank you. Goodbye. So we're currently doing the Griffonian Federalism, and we're almost done with that as well, which is very good. Let's go ahead and set you guys up down here and do something like that. A very concentrated amount of soldiers, followed up with a few more soldiers that not nearly as concentrated, but should still do pretty darn well. And I'll leave you guys out of this for now, because maybe I'll throw you over here, just in case. Cool. Any upgrades? Panzer leader? Yes, please. Hardened tanks? Very good. Organization? And Griffonian Federalism. So, can core... Uh, every Griffonian Griffin country can be cored by us if average compliance is occupied states reaches 40%, and a dream realized. Risen from ruins and facing the future, Griffonia United Fatherland. Old woes to overcome, and we overcome them together, so that the sun may shine more beautiful than ever. Old Griffonia united. Very cool. 
And my apologies, I had a sneeze there. But it shouldn't take too long, and I do want to see what this one does have to say. And also, I already put in the order for a lot of infrastructure on here, because we're going to need a lot of infrastructure. It's going to be so bad here, so bad. The dream realized, my friends. A venery tapped his glass with a claw to ask for the attention of the other griffs attending the grand dinner. Every creature, I know that you expect me to hold another grandstanding speech where I may extort or exhort my many accomplishments, and I would hate to disappoint, however. When the jokes are laid aside, I look back on my career and cannot help but feel like so many of my accomplishments are due to others. When I was a young hot blood, I was thinking merely of an Aquilian Republic, but I was shown a greater vision by my dear friend, Monsieur Kemersky. He convinced me that through the Empire was rotten, that those rotten. It had created the seed for all in unity for all of Griffin kind, no matter the small details that divided us. Divided us. Yet I had barely had time to be begin championing these ideals before Madame Gaudreau made sure her to temper them, and tirelessly argued with me that I could not so lightly dismiss Griffin Kind's desire to be ruled not by a distant authority figure, but by representatives closer to them in culture and traditions. From Monsieur Cru, I learned to take the concerns of even the least among us seriously. From Monsieur Rodier, I learned to, to find pride and strength in my Quillian heritage. Turning to look at the Griff Griffiness who sat by his side, he smiled, and from my dear wife's Sylvain, I learned patience to look at things more deeply and that raising a family demands not just willingness to help, but to actively engage in the labors it entails. He took a claw in his, squeezing it lightly before looking up to every griff else. And from all of you, I learned that when the people stand together, there is nothing they cannot accomplish. He raised his hand to them all. For all the invaluable lessons you taught, not just me, but each other, which has shaped the republic that we've all built, thank you. And that's all she wrote. The future looks pretty good. And of course we have a few more here, but I do want to take out the rest of these guys as well. Oh, synthetic oil experiments, I sound very, very good. And we have quite a few ways, days, and I'll be right back. And here we are, my friends. Actually, the Nimbusian autocracy declared war on these guys, so let's go right on in. Even though we're declaring, we're justifying on these guys as well. It's going to take some serious time, like over 150 days, but oh well, it is what it is. We should do relatively okay here as well, hopefully. And I should probably say, say, stop saying the word well. Let's see. We do have 4 million manpower, though. They have no navy, basically. 103 divisions. A good amount of manpower, but it's probably going to be dropping pretty darn quickly throughout here. And... Using a convoy. Oh, look at that. That's us. Armor Research Grant, and we'll also do the Mac 42. Uh, even though we already got that one technically, but that's alright. And like I said earlier, technology doesn't really mean too much at this point. You can do that stuff because we can. I want to see how many losses we've inflicted, really. I'd love to learn, but they've lost at least half their manpower pool so far, which is very nice. As you can tell, I'm not really worried about the whole conflict here. Because I really want to kill these guys off too. But we'll see what happens. Just because they're not too strong, we might not kill them off. It's just, oh, they're out of manpower now. Nice. These guys have a little bit of manpower. And, yeah, I don't know. We probably won't kill them off, but it's alright. It's totally alright. And what do we cord? We cord a lot of territory. Look at all that. That's so nice. We cord so much. I love it. And we're only on... Eh, we can go down to... Limited conscription. We'll try that one. Cypher's done. Eh, it's alright. Doesn't really matter too much. Doesn't really matter. Cool, and they're all going to die now. And we love it when that happens. Valkyries, very cool. Some tactical bombers, because we're still using outdated equipment anyways. Which is not very good, but oh well. Nuclear bombs, would be nice. You know, by the time we get nuclear bombs research, I never use them. I never ever use them. More than enough resources, which is very good. And over there, why not? They should be dead very soon, right? The Mac 40 slash 2. And field support battalions, why not? How are they not dead yet? Help them out. Help them out. There you go. There you go. Oh, there's still stuff down here. Oh, the capital's down here. Oh, that sucks. Ah, but they're gone pretty much. But I think that's going to really do it for us. I'm not going to give this territory to these people over there. If we were to continue, we'd probably take out everyone. But I think we're done for this campaign. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.